I am just about to do my very first, let's fix that, my very first live show. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I want to cry, but I'm not going to because I have to remind myself, like what's the worst that could actually happen on live television, you know, like what's the worst? And in case you didn't know, my show is usually pre-recorded and now we're, we're doing it, we're doing it. Um, I've got, oh yes, hi everyone. Hola. Yes, my name is Josephine Macharia. And, and she's the one who helps bring everyone at Better for Kenya together and make sure schedules are on time, people are where they need to be. They're talking about the things they need to talk about. But you've also got a brand yeah. that like helps other people, like your company is about helping other brands. It's about helping other brands and all the things we do is the Kids Talk event, which is all about bridging the gap between Generation X and millennials. So if you're a millennial out there, you need to attend a Kids Talk event. Hey, elevator pitch, come on, you had it, like you've got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Janet is there fixing, yeah, fixing her shoes. My wedge is fine. Yeah. We need it. Yeah. I'm so excited for Sharon. Yeah. I know. Okay, it's going to be good. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. You guys, it's done. I didn't die. I didn't vomit. Okay, so I think I won. But there were a few hiccups. More than a few things that I was like, Aah. and they don't tell you there's like someone in your ear and they're telling you cut now, go to this thing. Then they change things and it's like it forces you to really be like on point. But um, we're done. And here's the lady. Here are the ladies. Do you guys mind being in the video? Okay. So we had Kimberly on the violin, and then we had Joanne on like the brains. I mean, at some point I was like, Joanne, you really need to take over. No, no, it's like, that's such a Of course, you guys met Janet oh, earlier. So good. Like, Thank one you. of the sweetest yeah. people in, in no, media. Right, and Thank I, you. I, I, I mean that 100%. And then we got Ayuba, yeah. who's like this tall beauty and brain. And I mean, today just made me feel like it's just so dope to be a woman. Yeah. yeah. It is. And it's like, like, yeah. yeah. Show, oh, so the first yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's so dope to be a woman all year round, really. Yeah. Really, I'm just gonna leave you with this message. <laughs> okay, so to top it off, right? Finishing my first first live show. Wait, let me position you properly. Also, like, look at Janet in the back vlogging. <laughs> oh, I just caught the tail end of it. But um, to top it off, but I'm giving us shoes. And look at this, they have such dope. Shoes, like look at the other one I've got on. Love it, and it's so comfortable as well. Um, P.S. They're the ones who sponsored the show for Living With This. They've not sponsored this video, although but uh, I mean, if you want to think about it, it's fine. Yeah. How cool is this shoe? Can I try the other one as well? And like it will wash and go back to white, right? Yeah. That was a mistake. Look at that. I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be one of those cool kids now. Okay. Shoes, I know, right? Even, no, it's not, but it's what I'm leaving with. That's what they're giving me. They're the best, aren't they? Yeah. So let me, oh, thanks. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. These are the ones I'm leaving with. It's cute, huh? So cute. Oh my god, hello. Hi, how are you guys doing? Um, look at my sleeked back hair, everybody. I hope that I hope I'm filming myself. Listen, I, to, I today I'm just getting better and better and better like figuring this hair thing out. But um actually I didn't intend to pick up the camera today, but I am because I'm with Mondi. Hola! My bestie. Who and we we've been talking about like uh, high school and we're both saying how we would not go back to high school Hell even if you paid us to and we were saying like one of the reasons why because we were both explaining like white was uncomfortable for her and for me one of the reasons and then she says but even like how you had to know the cool song and I was like yeah hon I used to listen to the radio like is this cool? Is this cool? Ooh, so that you know? Even those days it was like top seven and seven. seven. For sure. So I'd literally oh be in God, I remember struggling. being in my room. Okay. Listening to the radio. <laughs> the radio. And then yeah. So that tomorrow you can take part yeah. in a conversation and, and look cool. Are you joking? Let me tell oh you something. God. If you're in high school right now and, and you're, you're watching, watching this, this, 
it then Mara, okay? It's, it's really not that serious. Never. But I remember one time, okay? I was so good. I listened. In fact, I listened for like three days, so I even knew like the yeah. songs. I could be like, oh, this song is cool. It's cool. And then wait till I chime in in the conference. I start talking like, oh yeah, yeah. Have you heard? Cause I think it was like Kenyan boy, won't you come oh take a walk God. with me? Nazi so yeah, no, this is. So and I knew the lyrics. Wait till I start chiming in right. in a conversation. Cause usually I didn't, I didn't. And then Gazani calls me out and be like, I'm Sharon. Can you been memorizing this stuff? <laughs> anyway, um, it's not that serious. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Also, I should yeah. explain. Something happened to my camera that's really weird. I have battery and I have memory. Okay. But I think it's because I banged it on the table and it just went off. Um, but yeah, I'm sh like I'm just I'm just so happy I'm so that grateful. that's not where we are. Yeah, and, and that's, those are not the challenges. Can you imagine that right? coupled with social media? Oh, I, living like, in the honestly, same age. I don't know. I don't even know. It's tough. That's tough. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. we're gonna go back to celebrating the 30th birthday weekend. Um, yeah. You guys. Okay. So. Um, Woo, the light here is good. So, first of all, the weekend was really nice. Um, and it was really simple too. Didn't film anything, except for that little clip which you guys saw <laughs> with Mondi and I. Um, but I didn't film anything. It was just like really quiet and intimate and just perfect. It's Monday, right? I'm at work filming for Living With This. Um, I'm literally in the middle of an interview, just about to end it when people come on and they start singing happy birthday and look you guys they surprised me with the cake it said happy 30th Sharon and it was from uh, NTV living with this crew specifically I, I'm even just gonna say Deborah my producer and um, Deborah and uh, Park in yeah so Park in actually made this cake right and yeah they I guess they just put it together but how sweet how cute i think in fact i might just insert the clip if i do have because i think deborah recorded deb did you record the clip yeah it's on your phone on my phone oh wendy wendy recorded, wendy recorded. recorded okay okay so I'll, I'll if there's i'll i'll insert something here actually Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, you guys. But yeah, like I'm just like I was smiling so hard my cheeks were hurting. It was just so thoughtful and so nice. So, um, I we just got done filming, and I'm. I've got another shoot later this afternoon, which I'll bring you along for. Um, oh God, I do need to go grocery shopping. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. And I'm, I've also got a trip this week, actually, going to Watamu for a few days for work, for f filming still for the show. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a good week, guys. A good week as a 30-year-old woman. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah. yeah. Just put okay. it there so you can find the light. Okay. If you can. I will. Just think about it right now. Everything's okay. No matter where you find yourself, no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life, underneath it all, everything's actually all right. You're okay. You have more power than you like to give yourself credit for. You have something that's going on in your life right now that's challenging or painful. It's just a reminder to take a little bit better care of yourself. Because you're worth it. You can have this feeling.
All right, I feel like I owe you an explanation because I'm sure if you're watching this, this video just feels like it's all over the place. Like, whoa, what's going on? What's going on, Sharon? So I'm going to try and explain a couple of things before I even tell you where I am right now. Um, the first thing is the photo shoot that I had on Monday. And it was a photo shoot with Kotex, who I will be working with for, yeah, for most of the year, if not all of the rest of the year. Um, and, and look, here's the thing. Like, I've been using Kotex for the longest time like i think from the moment i decided that tampons were for me and not so much pads i just stuck to kotex and i have loved the product and if you've been watching my videos for a while you might even recognize it or remember that i once even showed you guys how ever since they changed the packaging and they had these cute colors for their tampon covers that i just display them out because i just think they're pretty so um so yeah so i'll be working with them but i'm not even if i'm being honest i'm not even working with them just because i use the tampons um which are great yeah but it's the message that they're sh trying to share and i can't tell you much just yet but it's essentially a message of of empowerment and courage and strength and women and girls knowing that they are strong enough smart enough fast enough whatever it, you fill in the blank but you are that and then some but that will come soon and I'll share uh, a, f a lot more with you guys over the rest of the year, over the course of the year. Um, so that was that on Monday. Tuesday was, uh, oh Tuesday was such a long day, it was such a long day of filming. Wednesday, oh Jesus, Wednesday's today! <laughs> I was gonna try and remember like what did I do on Wednesday? It's today! And guys, okay, hey, first of all I started my morning very very um, intentional with what i was eating because i did a really crappy job last evening and i ate i ate kfc chicken wings which are my it's my kryptonite and i and it's like freaking so easy to just like sit and order them and know that they'll just come to your place in like 30 minutes so i ate that i felt really bad about it afterwards so i knew it wasn't even for my soul and so this morning it was like a cleansing period that's why i even filmed myself with the juice i had like lemon water and apple cider vinegar i don't even think of have i eaten yeah i've had like a couple of things today but right now i'm in watamu at hemingway's watamu and we're filming for living with this which like i just look like i know i like i'm really proud of how far we've come and it's not like we've got this great big team and and everything perfectly sorted out and but like I just we've only been filming 10 months now almost not even not even 10 months yet but um, but I don't, I'm just really happy just so you know this video is not sponsored by Hemingway's it's not sponsored by anyone even Kotex hasn't sponsored this video I'll tell you if anyone sponsors the video I'll always be honest about that um, I'll show you my room because I just think it you know I think you should see the room is it me? Like, I feel like I've gotten darker. It's like I've got this beautiful tan that I'm working with. I love it. Anyway, <clears throat> here's the room, but first, here's the view outside. Like, that's what you wake up to. So, yeah. All right, and this is the room. Uh, quick pan. Very simple. I have way more beds than I need. Uh, this little guy is a cool function that they also have in in uh, Hemingway's Nairobi. Which button is it? This one. How cool is that? The TV is in this beautiful box. Love it. Gorgeous. Um, and the bathroom. I haven't done a room tour in forever, so pardon me if I'm doing a not so great job, but you get the gist. Room, bathroom, it's pretty simple. Um, so I, I, I have to say though, and I'm gonna look at you as I say this. <laughs> I have to say that Hemingway's Nairobi, like the rooms are, are a lot better, I think. Oh, maybe it's the room I have here, <laughs> I don't know. But when I, have, when I stayed at Hemingway's um, Nairobi, it just is like, uh, 
on another level. It's gorgeous. I mean, this is good too. And the, you've got your notion. You can't beat a notion. But Hemingway's Nairobi, yeah, kills it. <laughs> So I'm wearing a bikini that was actually gifted to me by Patricia. She, I don't know what the story is. I think, I can't remember what the story was, but I think she got it from Amazon. And either she got two sizes when she only wanted to get one or this one didn't fit quite right. So <laughs> came to me. Um, and then I'm wearing a kimono from uh, Vivo. Love it for when I'm by the beach. It just is a perfect cover up. My earrings are from Mr. Price. There are these, actually, I should probably just turn it around. Mr. Price earrings, simple, not, the quality isn't high up there, but it's okay. And then sunglasses are from Topbox. And we're about to go to the beach. Well, not the beach, the quiet pool. I have about an hour to kill before we have to go on a dow. Jesus, sometimes, sometimes my work feels like it's not real. So there's the quiet pool. My room is like behind there. here <laughs> otherwise it's just gonna drag on to this week and I want to do a different vlog for this week um, but yeah I, I would hope to put this video up on Friday and I'd started to edit it and then it's just work on the way and the travel and um, I wasn't able to but I do have a couple of vlogs lined up for next week so not just one but two um, and both are really exciting uh, I'm at our cafe drinking green tea I'm really trying to be healthy, at least for the next five, a few days. <gasps> and reading this book! I'm so excited! I've just started and I want to just like dive into Michelle Obama's like brain and spirit and everything. So I'm going to give myself an hour to read this book before I dive into work. Um, thanks for watching today's vlog. I hope it sort of made sense or I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll see you next week. Bye!